Hey there, what's going on? Seth here from retipster.com. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about Lutron Caseta light switches and why I think they're really cool. All right, so a few months ago, I moved my family into a new house. And with the new move, I've been experimenting with some new smart home technology that I think is just kind of cool and worth looking into to see if it might be helpful. And one of the things that I discovered in this process was something called the Caseta light switch, which is from a company called Lutron. And there's a few of the companies out there that do a similar thing to this. I don't have any experience with them, but from what I can tell you uh, of my experience with Lutron is that it's pretty cool. It's a little bit complicated to set these things up and install the light switches correctly. But once you've got that down, it's a really cool wireless system where you can download a special app from your phone. And then once you got everything hooked up and wired correctly, you can do two special things. First of all, you can set your lights on a automatic schedule so that they turn on and off at certain times of the day, on certain days, either at sunrise or sunset, or if you wanna get more specific than that, they can do pretty much whatever you wanna do. And you can also set these up so that you can turn your lights on and off from pretty much anywhere in the world through the Wi-Fi signal in your house. There's a couple different kinds of uh, switches that I'm using in my house. One of them is like a dimmer, which frankly, it looks a little complicated at first glance, but it's pretty easy to use once you figure it out. And then the other kind of switch is just a simple on off. There's no dimming functionality in there. And in order for these switches to work, you need to also buy and set up something called the Lutron Caseta Bridge, which is sort of like a digital hub that you hook up to the wireless router in your house. And then it uses that signal to communicate with wherever these switches are at in your house. And I think you can set up pretty much as many switches as you want, as long as you have that bridge in place. I believe the bridge is a hundred bucks or somewhere in that range and then each one of these switches are somewhere in the range of like 50 to 60 bucks a piece. So that's definitely a lot more expensive than just your simple five to ten dollar mechanical switch that everybody has in their house. So it probably doesn't make sense to buy these for like every switch everywhere but if there is a specific switch that could really benefit from being on a timer or from your ability to access that remotely, then it could make a lot of sense. For example, I've got these set up near our front door, the light that comes on and off over our front porch. That's the kind of switch that could definitely benefit from being on a timer, especially at certain times of the year. And uh, I can do that very, very easily with the app on my phone. In terms of the ability to turn the lights on and off from anywhere in the world remotely, I frankly haven't come across a situation yet where that has been like extremely helpful. I just don't really ever need to do that. But the schedule thing is pretty cool. And I know there's other things out there that are like battery powered and you can program it from the switch itself. And that can make a lot of sense too. But if you really wanna get on board with this whole like smart home technology and controlling everything from your phone, this is a great way to do that. I'll be the first to tell you, this is not something that I need in my life. And there's a good chance you don't need it either. But in some cases, it can be helpful and kind of cool and fun to have. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on the Lutron Caseta light switches. I think they're pretty cool. I've got a few of them in my house. But uh, again, this is not the kind of thing I'm gonna put everywhere. It's just like a few select spots where I think it makes sense. And if you've got a spot like that in your house where it could make sense, then definitely check them out. I can give it my stamp of approval. And I'll tell you, this is nothing that Lutron is paying me to say. I'm literally just doing this because I think it's a really, really cool product and I've had a great experience with it. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.